Hi everyone, uh, welcome to QB Tools Power King. Uh, today, Mike here is gonna be showing you how to replace the blades on a Power King five inch chipper shredder, uh, model number PK0915. Uh, the same procedure applies to the five inch electric start uh, chipper shredder and also the uh, four inch model. So that's uh, model numbers PK0903, PK0915, and PK0915-EH. Uh, uh, this is an essential maintenance task uh, to keep your chipper shredder running efficiently and safely. Always make sure to wear your safety gear to prevent any injuries as these blades are sharp. First thing we're going to do with the chipper shredder is we're going to make sure to prevent any accidental uh, startup of the engine. Uh, you want to click the push in the uh, emergency stop switch. Uh, once it's popped up, it is off, but you want to push it on. All right. Next to the engine, you're going to make sure that the fuel secure is actually in the off position. To the right is on and to the left is off. And one more step is to pull the spark plug wire and that should just pull right off. And now we are 100% confident that the engine will not start up. The next step would be to open the chutes. So you got the two latches here. One more step, you're gonna have to pull the uh, emergency stop switch wires here at the connector. And the chute is on a hinge, so you could go ahead and swivel it over. Next thing you're gonna wanna do uh, is put a shop rag well, in other cases, sometimes the blade might not be showing. Uh, you could pull on the pull starter and that should get the blade in position. And what you also want to do is put a some piece of scrap wood in here. and then give it a pull because what it does is it'll hold that blade steady and make sure it won't move on you when you start loosening. Uh, there is a blade side guard right over here on the left side that you have to remove and you use a 13 millimeter wrench. And you'll make sure to go left on this one Lefty loosey, righty tighty. And the second one. And since we have that rag in there, uh, that'll prevent it from falling into the uh, drum housing, which we don't want. And it'll Go ahead and remove that. All right. So the next step will be to uh, remove these five bolts, which are uh, 17 millimeter. And we are gonna use our T-bar wrench here. Now these are um, thread, lock, uh, thread locked in place. Um, so you can use a breaker bar for some assistance with breaking these free. Now with these, uh, they are shallow uh, head bolts, so you wanna make sure that uh, you are square onto the bolt. And as you can see, that rag is helping to prevent anything to fall from falling in. And the blade is out. And then just to let you know that these blades are double-sided, so uh, you could still flip them around and use the other side. But on this unit, we're gonna go ahead and swap them for uh, some new, new blades. Now, all the new blades do come with a set of bolts, uh, which is good to uh, replace uh, as you do this um, procedure. Okay, so now when, uh, putting these new bolts in 
you do want to use uh, blue temporary Loctite. And then we are also going to torque them down to 45 foot pounds. Now on these, you want to make sure that the bevel is going downwards. And then we're going to thread it in by hand just to make sure we don't cross thread it. And once it gets to like two or three threads down, then uh, you can start using your tools. All right, now that we have all five bolts uh, hand tightened, uh, we're gonna use a torque wrench. Uh, it's just gonna be a 3 8 inch torque wrench and it's gonna be set to 45 foot pounds. All right, so now these are all torqued to 45 foot pounds and this side is all done. Uh, the next step is you'd rotate the drum using the pull starter and then uh, you could get the other side done. So on this unit, we already did it. Uh, so now we are going to wrap this one up and we're going to go ahead and put the bar guard back on. And then the side guards are torqued down to 20 foot pounds. All right, now that we have the blade installed and the the side guard installed, side blade guard. Um, the last thing you're going to want to do is to adjust adjust the anvil, which is on the bottom, uh, bottom here. Um, so what you want to do is uh, use the pull starter to kind of align the blade with the edge of the anvil. And then you're going to want to loosen these five bolts here. You don't want to remove it, you just want to loosen them. And that gives you the ability to move uh, this anvil on the bottom and then uh, as you can see there's like a gap there what you want is that gap to be about one to five millimeters and that'll give you the best performance uh, uh, when chipping shredding all right so now with everything installed and the anvil adjusted uh, you do want to give the uh, pull starter a few pulls uh, just to make sure that everything is clear And it looks like we're good. Um, another thing to mention is that also when doing the uh, bar blade, uh, these bolts here are torqued down to 20 foot pounds. And we also do recommend putting um, a blue temporary thread locker on it as well.